Welcome back, everybody, to some more P5R. I'm your host, The Musical Game, and we're still here in Size Palace. <laughs> we're about to leave. Before we do that, though, I did a little looking around. I uh, could not find the last we'll see for the life of me. So I came back here to the central room, and I noticed something. As I was grabbing this uh, thing over here, I noticed there's this uh, pathway up here with a fucking, fucking grapple point. Bet you any amount of money. I bet you any amount of goddamn money this is what I'm looking for. Oh, where the hell are we? Oh, this is new. Oh, I hear it. Oh, I freaking hear it. God damn it, game. Focus. How the hell do we... How do I... Do I just hop down from here? Yes, that is the solution. Okay. Yeah, could it be? I wonder. I absolutely wonder what it could possibly be, guys. <laughs> we found the wheel seed. Thank God. Okay. So if we just come this way... Hello. Are we taking this? Yeah, I'm sure you will be. I are we good? I actually don't know. Uh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take out. Uh, we're gonna take out Ryuji. Let's throw in uh, Morgana. I don't trust our HP right now. Or, or SP, I should say. This is, this is Will Seed. It's just ahead. Sorry, but you'll be letting us through. Hold on, Queen. I'm getting the feeling that this one's gonna be a headache. Probably want to be re as ready as possible for this fight. Are we, Joker? Yeah, we sure are. Let's do it. Oh dear guests here. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I do apologize, but this area is off limits to guests. Please take your leave. Oh! Is that Bale? Oh dear. Oh, it's no problem for the manager's sister, though. You're the one who's out of here. Oh, hey there, dude. You're a high-level persona, the reviled dictator. Persona! Uh, okay then. Let's give this a try. I don't know what you're weak to. You might leave me weak to anything. Ooh, that's good. It's a good thing we did throw out Mona then. That's a very good thing we threw out Mona, but Mona's not going to be too helpful then. Hold on. Let's see, yep, he does drain wind. Okay, well, good thing we know that now. This is my other self. What about Bufu? You like ice? It's kind of meh on you. Ooh, HP! Thanks, uh. Thanks to Futaba. Persona! This isn't it. Normal physical attacks seem to be okay as well for the most part. Yeah, we ain't gonna be doing that uh, to you anymore. No lucky crit. Koga on, give that a try. Oh, you resist less. Alright, fair enough. Uh, we can shoot you. Shooting you turn it to be okay. I Fire Psychic and the Nuke. One of we've not yet tried. Can we dizzy you, I wonder? We can! Ooh! Holy crap, that is lucky. Absolutely lucky. Hit him! Yeah, the crit damage, or tech, technical damage, I should say. Uh, murder him! Uh, that looks like the plan. Let's dizzy him in our turn and let Mona knock him down. That should do some decent damage. At least for a bit. Uh, yeah, let's just do curse. There's plenty of damage as well. You know what's Monsu Kukaja? Persona. Are you still? No, you're still not dizzy. Hmm. Make him dizzy. Yes. You ain't hitting any of us. Okay, maybe you're hitting Yusuke. Oh, hello. Yeah, do it. Do the showtime. We haven't seen those. We haven't seen this one in a bit. Shoujo manga him to death. Ooh, that was nice. Good hit, guys. Ah, <sighs> it's very satisfying. <laughs> that is that is extremely satisfying. Did everybody level? Uh, Ryuji didn't. Okay, nor did Morgana. Power everybody else through. pretty much got levels. I hit level 54 for Christ's sake. That is crazy. Uh, we do not need last stand. The goal is to never be surrounded in the first place. 
<laughs> and you what have learned skill. All right. Good on you. And you have learned Sayodine. Good on you too, Haru. That takes care of that. Let's get that will seed, and then let's get the hell out of here. There we go. Boom. Victory! The final will seed. Gimme, gimme. Blue Jealousy Seed. And with that, with the power of all the will seeds combined, what do we get? Hooray! It's the Crystal of Envy. Ah, there we go. Now they use Envy instead of Jealousy. The last will seed. Envy just has a better Sorry, ring to sis, it. But I'm taking it. <laughs> oh, oh, poor Makoto. <laughs> yeah, but Envy just has a better ring to it than Jealousy. Jealousy just feels kind of meh, childish. While Envy feels like some sort of thing you're gripped with. You're gripped with Envy. You, you cannot escape that. <laughs> At least that's just the feeling, uh, feeling I get. So one thing we could potentially do, because we never dealt with a fusion alarm yet, uh, we could attempt to go fuse that Seth with high counter. I don't think we have like a high counter skill card though. Uh, that is actually something I do want to check. Do we have high counter as a skill card? We have regular counter, but not high counter. Yeah, no, we do not. So even if we do manage to fuse this guy, uh, he's not going to have the ability. So I guess we could just hold off. We'll wait. What do you want to do? Let's just get the hell out of here. Let's get back to regular life, because we got plenty of days to go. Yeah, boom, look at that. L look how look how in-depth this palace was compared to other palaces. It's, it's quite a bit of things we actually had to do. Yes. We finally secured our route to the treasure. All we need to do now is send the calling card. Uh. Yes, let's let's make sure we don't uh, screw this up, guys. We only got one shot at this. All right, well, with that, though, we are in a very good situation. Okay. You did great today. You tired? Yeah, I mean, I guess a little. We finally made it. All that remains is to actually send the calling card. Looks like we'll manage to get it out before that investigation starts going down, too. We still don't know anything about the true culprit behind the mental shutdowns, though. I wonder if we'll learn anything from Nijima-san's shadow. I doubt she has ascertained any relevant clues. I agree. That is why she is the warned out on the Band of Thieves, after all. Furthermore, the public believes arresting us will solve the case. The public prosecutors won't stop now. They have the weight of the general public on their shoulders. If only we knew who the true culprit was, we wouldn't have to fight Nijima-san's shadow. Who could it be? Do you think it's someone we know? Hmm. It's a possibility. Yeah. True. There would be no end to the mistrust if we began to doubting our peers. Either way, we only have one opportunity to turn the tables. This final calling card shall be my magnum opus. Simply let us know when you're ready, musical. Yo. Oh good, my Amazon order came in too. Haha, <laughs> uh, it's a good day. Physical ointments and my magic ointments. I've got all the ointments. All the ointments a man could ever need. Uh, we'll also get this uh, massage from, uh, from Dear Kawakami. <laughs> this way we can go out tonight. Maybe tonight's uh, the night we actually do some uh, pool or well, some darts. So either that or we go hang out with the twins. Master, should oh. do it. See you later. Don't ever work yourself. I mean, I I will try not to, but I can't uh, make any promises. So here's the question. Yeah, pretty much nobody is available to hang out with, which is you're fine. We, we've finished everybody. In fact, I think the only person left at night is a Y. So if he's not available, we have the night to do whatever we want to with. Uh, maybe even go to the jazz club. Ooh, there's an idea. Uh, either way, let's just quickly take a look. Are the twins even available for something tonight? I'm actually not sure. I do not know. Uh, twins? Oh, here you are. What's up? What are you gonna do today? No. Uh, listen closely, the place we wish to evaluate for your rehabilitation is... Where one offers up faith and words of devotion. Every day the lost sheep flock there to pray. There are even cases where individuals would confess to crimes. Confessing one's crimes due to a fear of divine punishment. This is a familiar ring to our own inmates' rehabilitation. 
Does a such a location sound familiar to you? Uh... It could be the church in Kanda. What'll you do? It could be. Do you mean the church? Then... Oh, so it's called a church. Let's witness the so-called faith that humans offer with our own two eyes. Guide me, inmate. Oh, God. Oh, no. You guys aren't going to catch fire when you walk in the bin. Okay, they oh. didn't. <laughs> so this is where one prays to the gods in your world. The peaceful atmosphere here is the antithesis of a prison cell. Hmm? Is that man standing there one of the gods? I sure is! Oh, no! I'm not going to say that. He's a priest. Oh, so a servant to the gods. That explains why I don't sense any exceptional abilities in him. What is that over there? A smaller room? I know, it's an Iron Maiden for reforming criminals, right? Whoever goes inside and fails rehabilitation gets skewered. Uh, <laughs> yep, skewered alive. Do we actually teach them about the real world or do we just fuck with them? I don't know. I, oh, it's so tempting. No, it's a confession booth. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Confession booth? You mean this tiny box is where the crimes are confessed? Is something the matter? Hey, you. We're here for the confession booth deal you have going here. Oh, you seek to confess? At such a young age. All right, which of you would like to go first? What are you saying? Which of us? Do you intend to split us up and pick us off one by one? <laughs> no such luck. We're both going in. Um, I see. I'm sorry, father. You're free to do so, but there really isn't much room inside. Are you attempting some sort of deceptive practice by calling yourself a servant of the gods? You what? Listen to people's concerns. This isn't a form of rehabilitation? Regardless, such talk is cheap but pays quite well. We shall undertake this confession and ascertain the truth for ourselves. Oh, this poor priest. Then, uh, as for your confession... Hmm, what to confess? Probably unkind to kick the inmate, but it's part of my duties as warden, so that can't be held against me. I inmate? W warden? This is none of your business. We're speaking to the gods right now. Recently, I've been shifting more of my more mundane bookkeeping responsibilities onto Caroline. What? You what? <laughs> I knew my workload was feeling larger for some reason. Oh no. This is why you do it solo, guys. Oh, ha 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 ha. She made so many mistakes in her work that I regret not doing it myself. Excuse of me? Of course I'd make mistakes when I have nearly twice the work. How about yourself, Caroline? Don't you have anything you'd like to confess while we're here? Uh, huh? Like what? I know you went out and ate Menchi Katsu all by yourself. Did you really think you could escape my notice? I, I was curious about the line. Like... What could humans want so badly that they would stand in place for so long? <sighs> Negidoli. <laughs> oh, shit! <sighs> fine, fine, fine. I'm sorry, I won't do it again. Confession time is over. We're done here. Was <laughs> she about to make a Doli on her? <laughs> oh, no. Odd as it may be, I actually feel quite refreshed. And were not for this opportunity, we would have likely kept these matters locked away deep in our hearts. What kinds of sins are you guilty of? Shut up! <laughs> Perhaps your rehabilitation would be better attained with a torture chamber rather than a confession booth. Oh dear. By the way, why do humans pray to gods? Shouldn't they be spending that time trying to solve their problems themselves? Well, I mean... <laughs> yeah, seriously, sometimes it's all you can do. It's, it's a kind of support. Have you given up on taking care of your own issues? Perhaps you're the one who needs the change of heart. That's not what I mean. No matter, we've come to learn how these places of worship work firsthand. We'll consider the assignment complete. Here is your reward. Hey, look, Samarakarn. <laughs> you know, confessions seem like they'd be rather useful to your rehabilitation. You want to confess to us every day. Put that out of mind, Caroline. Once we return, you're going to tell me all about your experience eating you-know-what. What? what? But I've already confessed! 
<laughs> Not enough, you haven't. Let us return. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, she's terrified. Oh, the poor little lolly child. <laughs> Looks like they're gonna have a... Uh, they're gonna have words between the two of them. Uh, between each other tonight. You know what? I'm just gonna stay out of it. It's a bad idea. Your notes. Last time we were talking about how court trials work. Today we'll be learning about... What? Asking if the Phantom Thieves would be given a trial if they got caught? Of course they would. All they would need to do is prove a link between their deaths and their activities. Sure, they would be put on trial for murder. Hey, gamer. What? You know it, right? I mean, how old do you have to be to be list to, to listen in on a trial? Uh, isn't it any age? Yeah, any age. This is it. Exactly. That's right. No age restrictions for listening in on a trial. You get in whether you're zero or 85. Youth crimes are an exception, but it's basically open to the public. Meaning you can all go attend. Well, I imagine the visitor's seats will be full of the Phantom Thieves sort of put a trial. Everyone is dying to know who exactly the culprits are and how they did it. Is he really a criminal? Are they still saying that shit? You gotta be kidding me. I literally have not done a damn thing wrong. Uh, however, the method and how it connects to the murder must be proven in order to sentence them. Methods that the Phantom Thieves use far exceed human knowledge. I'd imagine in order to prove it, they'd have to catch them in the act. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> let's hope that never happens. Let's hope. Hey. All right, well, there's 12 days left. Uh, we do have the thing in mementos to do. Can we, um... Hmm. It's available, huh? I mean, we could... Oh, well, yeah, of course nobody's available, because, uh... We need, to, we need to send the calling card, don't we? <laughs> uh... I suppose... What we should do is meet up in the hideout. Okay. If anything, we could go into... Mementos and take care of all those missions today, if we oh, have to. Oh, yeah. All we gotta do now is send the calling card. So, when do you want to send it? The earlier the better, right? No. In my opinion, we should wait until right before the time limit. May I ask your reasoning behind that idea? Sai-san is a realist, even if she believes the Phantom Thieves exist. Do you think she knows how they steal hearts? Furthermore, there is a chance she expects that she herself will be targeted. I mean, yeah, I guess all that is, uh, fair. So because her heart is ready for any possibility, the calling card might not have enough effect? I only say that theoretically, but I believe so. Hence, it would be prudent for us to wait until we are driven into a corner to act. Hmm. If we do so with no time to spare, I assume even Saison would have to be somewhat agitated. Hmm. Ensuring the treasure actually appears. That sounds quite logical. Impressive, Akechi-kun. Though, it is a bit vexing that you know more about my sister than I do. <laughs> Oh, that's only because of my work as a detective. Oh, yeah. You, you you sure about that, buddy? You, uh, you actually sure about that? Well, then. If our time limit is November 20th, and we act the day after sending the calling card, shall we send it out on the 18th? So we get 10 days. We should prepare as much as we can before then. Well, I can't complain about having more time. Make sure you're ready, everyone. Yeah, I suppose so. All right then, ten days it is. That's our uh, that's our time limit. So then I wonder, huh? Yeah, that that's it for today. I want to check now. Now that we've done this, are people available to hang out? There's on. Yep, people are indeed available to hang out. So let's not do mementos. <laughs> not uh, not not quite yet at least. There will be a day where we're probably not going to have anybody to hang out with, but we do have Haru. We do need to see her. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, she should be up on the roof, right? Yeah, roof. Roof, I think sounds good. Hey there, Haru. Good day. Oh, musical coon, hello. Well, what are your thoughts on this flower bed? I brought it here in the hopes of doing some serious gardening. Yeah. Wow, she's so diligent. <laughs> Once planted, the vegetables will be ready for harvest in a few days. Uh, if we want to grow any vegetables. Well, I'm here for the vegetables, I suppose. <laughs> what do you think? What should we grow, I wonder? 
Fully restores the SP of one ally. Restores 100 SP to all allies. That sounds amazing. <laughs> uh, doubles the damage of magical attacks. Doubles the damage of physical attacks. Let's, let's try going on the Sun Tomato, I suppose. We have to be careful not to damage the roots. I hope this grows up healthy. I suppose so. Might as well get this set. Should be ready on 11-14. Alright, fair enough. We'll have to come back here and grab it then. Uh, meanwhile, we will be uh, hanging out. Uh, take some time for someone as clumsy as myself. Yeah, we'll hang out. Uh, actually, wait. Do we... Oh, shit. I don't think we have an Empress Persona anymore. Oh, oh no. I don't think we do. Because I think we fused it away to make bugs. Oops. Uh, wow, Music Cocoon, you're quite skilled. The soil here would be so healthy if you were here more often. <laughs> well, I do what I can. Honestly, I'm surprised that my gardening can be of use to our work as the Phantom Thieves. This started as just a hobby, so it's amazing to see it transform into a more practical skill. Beyond this, I've actually begun raising plants of my own at home. Coffee beans. Oh, coffee beans. <laughs> do you, uh, do you like coffee? Mm. Actually, I'm more of a tea person. I always make sure to have at least ten tea varieties, or ten varieties on hand for my morning and afternoon tea. Anyway, I recently discovered the joy and the taste and aroma of coffee. I used to think it was purely bitter. Now I understand the depth of its flavor. To tell you the truth, I wasn't even able to drink it before. Oh? Uh, pardon me, I was just thinking back on the past. Um, can I share with you again? Yeah, sure, tell me what's up. Um... As I mentioned before, I cannot bring myself to trust any of the employees at Okamura Foods. Right? For as long as I can remember, the company has been run by my father. Being liked by him was always very important. Some employees would even come to ingratiate themselves to me. But since his passing, things have gotten unruly. Most evidently, people have started trying to use my influence as majority shareholder to oust other employees. They say they come to me out of respect, but I know they really just want to use me. I heard so many rumors. Um... The worst ones are about Takakura-san, the new president. They say he was thrilled to hear my father passed. There may be truth to that, though. He's been with the company for years, but has only started being nice to me recently. He even offered to assist me with asset management. I fear he has an ulterior motive, though. Uh, most likely, he, he does sound suspicious. Yes, I can't help but wonder about him. Um. He even went as far as to recommend I sell my shares the other day. He said I could make a fortune. But I realized that if I did so, he would be able to strike the Okamura name completely. Takakura-san must be scheming to take the company for himself. At least it's possible. Hmm. This is a complex issue. Indeed it is. None of the advice I've gotten so far has been helpful either. Everyone only speaks out of their own self-interest. Yes. Thank you for today, though. I feel a little better after talking about this with you. Oh, and don't worry. I'll make sure I keep myself motivated, even through these difficult times. Well, fair enough. You you do you, Haru. We'll hit rank two. All right. Ooh, she's got a she's got quite quite a few concerns. I'm going to stay here a little while longer to check the drainage. I need to make sure these vegetables turn out as good as possible for the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> All right then, I'll leave it Goodbye. to you. Catch you later. Ring a ding ding. Hello. Oh, sorry, I wanted to ask you something. Uh, it's not terribly important, but what vegetables do you tend to like the most, musical Kun? I might as well grow things that everyone likes eating. Who, me? Uh, I guess that sun tomato we're growing. Oh, I have seedlings for that. I can grow quite a few. Freshly picked tomatoes are so sweet that they actually do taste like fruits. Oh, and they're quite nice and curry. Thanks for sharing your preferences. All right, cool. Uh, we'll catch you later, Haru. She's a very kind and considerate girl. Ah, you're back. Yes, hello there, Coffee Dad. I've returned. Inmate. I trust you haven't forgotten about your special assignment. We've been expecting- Oh, God. They still want to hang out. How many- How many of these things are there, I wonder? That was the fourth one we've done so far. And there's a Y. 
<laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. Oop, that is the wrong... I went to the wrong location. That's my bad. I didn't mean to go to school. Forget it. It's just a uh, slip of the... Uh, slip of the... Slip of the tongue? Slip of the legs? I wonder what you would say here. Uh, one thing we should probably do, though, is uh, I think we're going to need to grab... Yeah. I think we're going to need to grab a, uh, a Empress Persona before long. Maybe we should just do that. Yeah, let's just do that right now. We'll just do that real quick, and then we'll go meet up with Justine. In fact, maybe we could actually fuse one. Time, let's add fusion. Can we fuse any of these guys into an Empress? Uh, yes! Kushinata plus your Lunger would make an Empress Persona. Do we have any other doubles or so? Just this hanged sun. I mean, like, there's other things that we don't really necessarily need to keep. Say, like, uh, Devil. Devil doesn't need to be kept. No, you're not anywhere to be seen. What about you, Power? Oh, hello! We make Raul! Oh, that's something to maybe keep in mind for later on down the road. Hmm. It's actually looking that maybe this is the only option to us, is Kushinata and uh, your Lunger. Not terrible. But I not mean, we impressive. could we can deal with it. Just be ranked two. Ah, uh, yeah. You know what? Sure. The skills you'd like to inherit. Who, who do we call back though? Probably Kushinata, considering it's uh. Yeah, considering she's a healer, so and I don't think we have many healer like personas right now. Uh, skill for combo increases damage after baton pass. Yeah, that's that's good for you. That is great for you. Let's get you with growth two. Also give you Megadola, because why the hell not? Uh, Mataru Kaja. And, uh, hmm, maybe Dekaja? Stego Slap? No, let's do Brain Jack. You receive of girls, let us begin. Let's do Brain Jack. And now we have Dakini. Sweet! A new Empress Persona. Oh, hello. You actually learn high counter, do you? I wonder. I wonder if I would be able to fuse that onto... Okay, that, that's something for me to maybe think about later on. <laughs> Try to think of how to finish the uh, strength uh, strength arcana. You change your mind. Justine. All right, you let's just quickly re-grab... Uh, no, not by level. I want to do this. Ukushinata, where are you? There you this are. A fee is required. Then accept this persona. Done already. There. What? No slacking off. Okay, so we got our Empress Persona. We should be good for the future. And let's do this. Do so where do you the hell you want to go now? now? Somehow capable of simulating the ocean despite being indoors. Rumor has it that sea creatures from all around the world have been gathering. You want to go to the aquarium? Is that what you're? Is that what you're telling me? They want to go to the aquarium in Shinagawa. What'll you do? <laughs> okay then, sure. <laughs> I'll take you to see the goddamn fishies. Guide me, inmate. Oh Christ! Please don't release the penguins. Whatever you do. True. These glass walls certainly make it appear as if we are walking along the floor of the ocean. It's my first time in this place, but it feels familiar to me somehow. I. Uh, it's uh, it's a lot like myself. It's all the blue. Mm, such a superficial detail would not preoccupy us. Know your place, Don't inmate. act like you're some sort of expert inmate. Let's continue inspecting the premises. There's a number of other exhibits we've yet to see. Sure. So many different kinds of fish, apparently. Yes, the semi-transparent floating invertebrates were quite fascinating. I believe they were named jellyfish. <laughs> Those sea cucumber life forms were also very intriguing. Really? They only creeped me out. The exhibit with the enormous fish was much cooler. The killer whale, if I remember correctly. What nonsense is this? The jellyfish are far more appealing. No, the killer whale is clearly superior. Inmate. Oh no, you're gonna, you're gonna make me do this again, aren't you? God damn it, I like both of them equally. That was not a choice made available to you. Well, I made it anyway, so suck on these nads. Can't you do anything right? Excuse me? Hold- I won't take you to anywhere else. 
we could go to the kitty section. See now oceanic life forms from all over the world have been gathered here by humans. Indeed, that raises a question though. Why do humans go through the trouble of collecting other creatures and putting them on public display? I, uh, to assert their dominance and say that it's, I'd say, it's supposed to be to admire nature. <sighs> so they construct this chamber of concrete and glass, only to confine themselves in it alongside the creatures? The arrogance. <laughs> they admire nature so much they just move to a rainforest. I still don't get you humans. Whatever the case may be, this assignment is now complete. Cool, thanks. Masuku Kaja, Masakunda. Very nice. Oh, a free penguin show will begin show. What did I just say? What did I just say? Don't you do it. Don't you, don't you motherfucking do it. You leave those penguins where they belong. What is a penguin? Uh, a cute flightless bird. Hmm. We have no particular interest in such a display. But since you look like you're dying to witness this inmate, we'll tag along. <laughs> They're having too much fun. All right, they didn't release the penguins, thank God. Oh, I was I was afraid, guys. I was I was very much afraid. Aroused disbanded. It was an internal split. Masayoshi Shido. He's the only one. Whoa. He's the only one that can stand up for what's right. The only one who will make this good make good on his word. That's the kind of person we need leading this nation, especially in times like these. She leads the United Future Movement, right? If he, he was right, if we'd taken the Phantom Thieves seriously from the start, they'd be behind bars by now. Would you go first, do you think? The regime change or the apprehension of the Phantom Thieves? Oh, God. I don't like this. I really don't like this, guys. These guys are commenting on things they just don't understand. Buzz, buzz. What's up? I mean, the day we gotta carry out the plan, there's only 11 days left. Time is really slipping away. What will happen to us if we fail? <laughs> Our lives will be over. It's fine, NBD. I do a catchy couldn't be tried for, tried for serious crimes. Maybe, but we can't lose heart before we've even done anything. If we do that, we'll just mess everything up, even the parts we can definitely succeed in. Ooh, you actually said something wise for once. You wanna fight? <laughs> you two get along so well. Uh, how so? That is an outrageous claim. That's what I should be saying. Come on, stop it. Let's try to keep tensions low. We're all feeling anxious. Even you, Makoto? Yes, it can't really be helped this time. That's not how I raised you. Get a hold of yourself, Ryuji. Why are you just singling me out? <laughs> uh, poor Ryuji. He can't win. Hey. He never will win. We got nine days before we gotta send the calling card out. And uh, Futaba is apparently free to hang out. She the only one free to hang out? Nope, Haru is. So we're gonna spend time with her instead. Since Haru is so low, we need to we need, we need to spend some time with her. <laughs> it's, just, it's what has to happen, guys. It has to happen. We have plenty of ranks we need to catch up with, with Haru. Hello there, my dear. I come bearing the proper persona this time. So I came to see you. Oh, sure. Go ahead, show me the plants. Yeah. <laughs> Soil is quite a mysterious thing. Within its gentle care, even a tiny seed can awaken, spread its roots, and grow up towards the sun. It's almost like a mother. Perhaps that aspect is why I find this place so comforting. To be honest. You know, I only started taking care of these planters because one of my teachers asked me to. I was hesitant at first, but I liked it so much that I kept them long past the original request. I started mixing my own fertilizer, adjusting soil ratios. Now I raise these plants in complete secret. But, um, musical coon? I'm worried what the school might do if they found out about this. Uh, <laughs> it'll be okay. It, we'll, we'll be fine. <laughs> You're so dependable. <laughs> Thanks. We'll be partners in crime. Well, aren't we all? Aren't we already? I really enjoy the time we spend together. It's so different from how I feel when I'm around him. Huh? Oh, sorry. I meant my fiance. That reminds me, though. I wanted to ask your advice about him. Um. The whole arrangement began when my father first introduced us around the winter of my second year in high school. 
I was told we were just meeting his friend for dinner, but then he said that friend was to be my fiance. It was surprising, but I suppose I'd always known I would someday be married off for political gain. That is, that is sad. That is just very sad. Oh, but, but um, no relationship stuff happened, just to be clear. Anyway, I was never exactly fond of him to begin with, but now he's grown far worse. Recently, he's been suggesting we go on an early honeymoon together to celebrate our coming marriage. I can't even stand to look at him, though, let alone spend any actual prolonged time together. So, um, what can I say to decline his offer? Just, yeah, just, just tell him. I don't want to go with you. I suppose it'd be best to simply be clear about it. Yeah, you, you gotta be blunt with people like that. Especially when they think you owe the world uh, to them. So, you know, my father passed away before he could fulfill his promise to rescind the marriage proposal. So any conversation about putting a halt to the marriage will have to come from me. To tell the truth, I've already mentioned it to my fiancé. Oh? But he refuses to listen to a single word I have to say. Apparently he's even been telling the employees at Okamura Foods about the contract he made with my father. How the company would have to pay extreme reparations if it got called off for any reason. I just... don't know how to handle this. I can postpone while I'm still in high school, but after that... Yeah, and you're, uh, you're gonna be graduating in less than half a year. Thinking about it now, it seems my father's death has turned out to be quite favorable for my fiancé. After all, he's now engaged to the majority shareholder of a massive company. I suppose in the end, all he really cares about is his own personal game. Hmm. That is not what a relationship's supposed to be built on. It, exactly. Something like a love so intense that just seeing the other person makes your chest a... I mean... That would be ideal, but still not exactly realistic. Not so sure. Have I ever experienced it? Uh, <laughs> too many times to count whenever that freshman walks through those halls with that those locks of red hair. Ooh, my heart goes doki doki. No, I guess it makes sense for someone as handsome as you. Uh, hello? Are you coming on to me right now? Spending time with him is almost like some kind of training. Yes. Still, any hardship I go through now will surely help the Phantom Thieves eventually. <laughs> sure. If you think of it like that. Ah, we got the follow-up. Nice. All right. Good. That's a good technique for Haru to finally have access to. Oh, it's getting late. I should probably get back to my gardening. Well, I think I'll be staying here a little while longer. Goodbye. All right. Catch you later, Haru. Jeez. Oh, being the... Heiress to a company is, uh, not an easy thing. I don't know how Haru or Mitsuru did it. Ah, sorry for the sudden call. Um, you remember we talked about my fiancé? He won't stop asking me to spend the weekend with him. What? Uh, my excuse was that my friend was calling me, so here I am. Away from him! <laughs> Smart response. Never did anything like that before. My heart was pounding. He's been getting more and more persistent. At this rate, I don't know how long I can play along. But hearing your voice calm me down a bit. Thanks for listening to me. <laughs> I'll, I'll do that for you, at the very least, Haru. Man. Jeez, uh, stuck in between a rock and a hard place. Uh, you're back. That is for sure. Okay, I'm thinking that maybe, regardless of who's available tomorrow, we, uh, we should definitely go do, uh, go to Mementos. Because uh, we're going to want to be able to hang out with Shinya in a Y very soon. Very, very soon. We don't want to be wasting these uh, these nighttime slots when we could actually be hanging out with people. It's just rather unfortunate to actually have that happen. So let's... Uh, hmm. I didn't get a call from the twins. But I'm assuming they're available to, uh, to hang out. Hello, you two. What are you gonna do today? No. Oh, where are we going now? A present-day Tower of Babel. What? It was high in the heavens, so high that a human sky below and there's a... Such a grand structure would be far too dangerous for humans to do to investigate. Are they talking about the, the sky tree? They are talking about the sky tree. Okay. What do you do? Sure, let's go to the sky tree. <laughs> Those name the sky tree, huh? That's pretty impressive sounding. It's no Tower of Babel, but it's still quite fine. Onward, in yes, the boldness of the moniker is quite promising. Take us there at once. Sure. I wouldn't be surprised if they're actually impressed by it. Whoa, so it's this is the present-day Tower of Babel. Incredible. It appears we've underestimated the current extent of human technology. And 
the metal box that took us here. My ears were so tortured by its sounds, I thought I would faint. But as a trial for reaching this place, it was mere child's play. <laughs> oh my, what could that tiny thing in the sky be? An airplane? They truly do appear to be quite cramped inside. And this is quite the view. It almost appears as if we could crush the people below like insects. Justine! Oh, Justine, look at that! Loud as ever. What is it? How could this happen? There's a hole in the floor! Is this some kind of trap? Uh, no, try standing on it! Are you insane? Hehe. <laughs> it is most assuredly a trap. Caroline, any passerby that comes too close to it is clearly doomed. By the way, inmate, I've heard that this Tower of Babel is a path that leads even higher than where we are now, all the way to the heavens. Really? What? Is that true? Take us there immediately. Well, it doesn't reach all the way to the heavens, but the view is still rather impressive. Yes, we can see well, see well past the city from here to the ends of the earth. However, Caroline, are you attempting to back out of this? What? We, what do you mean by that? Why would I suddenly get scared after already coming so close? Ah, I see. Then why not go even closer and enjoy the view? Are you joking? Well, cut it out if you want to look so badly. Go to, she's scared of heights! <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Are those kids okay? Where are their parents? I'm just playing around seeing the guys chaperoning them. Great, now we're part of some humiliating misunderstanding. All because you were making such a scene in me. Look, look here, you little shit. That is not what happened and you know it. What a burden. You're the one who should feel humiliated. What a great view though. I see how looking down from here could make one make a person feel like a god. Hmm. Human desire really knows no bounds, does it? It's no wonder their hearts grow twisted when they're living in a city frothing with so much desire. Well, we've learned the secret of the Tower of Babel, so we'll consider this assignment complete. Here is your reward. Hey, Tarukaja, Rakukaja, Sukukaja. Nice. Hmm. Skill cards. Now, let us return. Not the most useful things. <laughs> at least for me right now. But at the very least, maybe we'll have some use for them. At some point. Oh, hello. We got a seat on the seat on the bus. We can finish Call Me Chief. That is an idea. I'm a little scared, though, that we should, like, try reading these other things. Because uh, I'm wondering if we don't know the location for a place, if uh, we can't take the twins there. That would be kind of bad. Yeah, let's just finish this book, then. Mm -hmm. Chiefs don't want for themselves, but much is expected of them. Wow. Well, at the very least, this book is now finished. Mm -hmm. you don't mind me. We'll just, uh, we'll take these points that are completely useless and, uh, call that good. I'm actually wondering if maybe we should be reading the, the location books at this point. When we get the free time. I think we'll do that. Starting with the next, uh, free reading period. They're gonna be like that. I'm not sleep deprived because I want to be, you know. My neighbors have been careless lately on garbage day. The crows were crawling away this morning. The trash nets, uh, the city makes us use only keep them away at the start. Crows are quick learners. On that note, do you all know how to write the kanji for crow? Characters for bird and crow look very similar, but the latter has one fewer line. What do you think, Gamer Coon? Isn't it easy to confuse with bird? Well, no. Oh. Do you know the answer? Uh, I mean, sure. It represents the eye, but you know why it's missing in the character for crow? Uh. Crow eyes are hard to see? Oh, there we go. This is it. Way to go. That's right. Crows are black feathered, so of course, so it's hard to spot their black eyes. But crows actually have great vision. They can even see UV rays, apparently. No way. Fair enough. Nice going. You give me that knowledge. <laughs> Maybe I can hit rank six knowledge, guys. At this rate. Uh, one, uh, one reading for a different crow kanji is ga to imitate the sound of a kawing. Character for a pigeon is the same. It's based on the bird's ku, leading to the ku pronunciation. Crows are pretty smart, so you better study enough that you don't lose to them. <laughs> Crows are scary. Yikes. That's a, that's a yikes for me. Crows are scary, huh? Hmm. Oh, 
with the, the foreshadowing of that. We have eight days left. Well, we've still got time uh, to do things. Who is available today, just out of curiosity? Haru is not. Futaba is. Well, it looks like we're going to be putting off Futaba again. Because I think we're going to go to Mementos and take care of those quests. So, that'll be for next time. Thanks all for watching. This is the Musical Gamer signing off. If you enjoyed, be sure to let me know down below. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on uh, Patreon. Dollar a month goes a long way to keeping this channel up and running. And I will see you guys in the next video. Catch you guys then.